Hey guys, welcome to my Divine Timing Tarot. Um, this read will be for the sign of Capricorn for mid-month of this month, January 2022. Please like this video, subscribe to my channel, leave me a comment down below. Thank you to everybody for all of your love and support for uh, subscribing and um, supporting me in my channel. And I look forward uh, to... Uh, doing spending this journey with you guys um youtube is uh is new for me um but so far i'm really liking it i love engaging with people i love reading cards so for this read capricorn i'm going to um take six cards from the tarot deck and then i'm gonna pull three cards from a different tarot deck for some um advice from spirit so let's go ahead and let's get this started uh, for all you Capricorns for this month. What's going on with Capricorn in January 2022 in the middle of the month? What's going on with all my Capricorns? January 2022, middle of the month. Mid-January 2022 with Capricorn. What's going on with Capricorn for mid-January 2022 spirit? One more shuffle. Okay, six cards for Capricorn. Capricorn, I see a uh, past person coming forward. They want to commit to you. They like you. The energies I have present down on the table are uh, fire, earth, water, and air. Everything. As I read, um, I'll read you the major arcanas if you guys are interested in um, those energies. So, yeah, if you're single, I see you coming together with someone. I see somebody expressing their love to you. I see someone that wants to come together with you, Capricorn. And I feel like you both manifested this. You both manifested one another. I feel like Capricorn, you have been deciding which way to go. Keep in mind, guys, this is for mid-January. I feel like you guys have been de uh, deciding which way to go here. What's ahead of you? What's going to happen in your future if you go this way or that way? I feel like in the past, um, you guys dealt with somebody who, possibly an earth sign, somebody who did not offer you anything. They didn't do anything towards this connection. Maybe they even lied to you. Maybe they were dishonest with you. Maybe they just didn't commit to you. I see a non-committal energy here from the past. But I see two past people. I see somebody else that's been manifesting you and wants to express their love to you. And you're going to feel a huge sense of relief when this person expresses uh, their love to you. When this person asks you out on a date, you're going to feel 
a huge sense of relief. And you're going to be very straightforward. And so are they. They want to cut right down to the chase here. There's no playing games here. Let's see who this Two of Cups is. Who's this Two of Cups for Capricorn? Who's this Two of Cups for Capricorn? I feel like for some of you guys, this might not resonate with everyone, but one message that is coming through, it could be somebody that gave up on a marriage. Give me one more card. Yeah, I feel like it's somebody that ended a cycle in their life. We have earth, air, and fire, and water. I feel like whatever this past person has gone through, it was unsuccessful for them, and they ended some sort of marriage or maybe it was like common law maybe they had a family too maybe they had kids doesn't have to be the case but they ended they ended a cycle in their life here let's see who the page of pentacles in reverse is Sagittarius energy. Somebody who did nothing. Nothing. This card is all about balance. And to me, I read it as something balanced. But I don't necessarily read it as something balanced. I read it as someone who's not really doing anything. As a person, this person did nothing. This past person, Sagittarius energy. I feel like Capricorn, things are going to turn in your favor here. Things are going to work out for you. And you're not going to have any sort of control over this situation. Aries energy. You're not going to have control over it. You can't have control over somebody else's feelings. This person wants to offer you stability. They want to, they want an offer they want to offer you a new opportunity. Earth energy. And it's going to have you looking at life a lot differently. You're going to have a new perspective on this person. I feel like it's a past person, guys. I don't feel like this is somebody brand new. I feel like you know who this person is. You're going to let your guards down. You're not going to be hesitant or cautious. You're going to want to jump right into this. And take advantage of this commitment. Whether it's moving in with them. For some of you. Whether it's taking things to the next level. Whether it's just coming together.
No more juggling around. You're, you're gonna know. There's that brand new beginning coming in for you. This new journey with this person. I feel like Gemini, and this is Gemini, um, I feel like you're not going to, this person is your soulmate and you're not going to know it. You're not going to realize your true feelings for this person right away. You're not going to know right away that you're in love with this person, but you're going to feel some sort of soul tied connection but you're just not going to know right away. Maybe they're not going to know either. It's not going to be love at first sight. But there's going to be passion here. Lots of passion. It might not be stable right away. But I feel like this person is going to express to you this month how they feel about you maybe not necessarily exactly how they feel but they're going to express to you how attracted they are to you because like i said it's not going to be love at first sight this person might be in and out for a bit but they're going to let you know how attracted they are to you how much passion they see in you. How much passion you make them feel. This is like a sexy type of energy here. Like I said, they're going to communicate to you. You're going to receive communication from this person. Libra energy. It's going to work in your favor. Maybe not this month, but there is, there is a chance here for them to offer to go on a date. Maybe not right away. Like I said, it's going to be an in and out type of energy at first. You're not going to realize your true attract attraction to this person right away. But this person's intentions are to ask you out on a date. And they're spying on you. They are spying on you. You might not know it. You might know it. Whether it's through social media, whatever the case may be. They're spying on you. They got their eyes set on you. Let's get some advice from Spirit for Capricorn. Advice for Capricorn Spirit. Let's get some advice from Capricorn Spirit. What advice, Spirit, can you give Capricorn? What advice, Spirit, can you give Capricorn for mid-months? One more shuffle. Strong Scorpio energy here. Water, air. Spirit's telling you that you're going to receive clarity here. You're going to receive some sort of clarity. Some sort of truth. Some sort of clarity. And things are suddenly going to change for you. 
you might feel like things things are going to be out of your control the divine is taking care of you they're taking care of this situation but you're going to receive some sort of clarity here and you're going to be ultimately happy you're going to get everything that you want don't give up that's what i have for you capricorn i hope that this reading resonated with you guys uh please subscribe to my channel feel free to leave a comment down below and give this video a thumbs up Thank you so much for watching, guys. See you guys next time.